Oh, hello there. Hi. Um, oh, I better be a little bit quiet. Okay, so uh, welcome. Come along with me. Uh, I'm about to take a walk through the forest. You see the edge of the forest behind me there. Uh, so uh, I am really excited about birds, okay? One of my favorite groups of birds, well, families of birds, is uh, woodpeckers. And I would like to give you uh, a birding tour of some of the um, woodpeckers that we have in our state of Pennsylvania. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a little walk through the forest and, uh, and see what we can find. Ah, oh, okay, look, there's our first one. Whoa, here, I've got it over here. That is a downy woodpecker. Uh, it's uh, the smallest of our Pennsylvania woodpeckers, and you see that, that small chisel-like beak black and white patterning on the body. Um, and, uh, and the male has a little red patch on the back of his head there. Uh, now, that looks like a woodpecker that you probably would not be able to confuse with any other type of woodpecker, right? Um, oh, what's that? Another downy woodpecker? Hmm, I don't think so because look, it's the beak is a little bit larger in proportion to the body, right? Um, actually, it might be best if we can find uh, a branch that has both a hairy and downy woodpecker on it because they both look very similar. The hairy is larger though. Oh, there we go. Here's a nice, nice look. Okay, so uh, you see there's the smaller downy woodpecker and there's their larger hairy woodpecker. Uh, the, the plumage pattern on both of these woodpeckers is pretty much the same, uh, but the downy's smaller, the hairy's larger. When you get them right next to each other, it's pretty easy to see. Um, but when you just see the bird by itself with no other, no, uh, other species to compare it to, you want to look at uh, the size of the beak in proportion to the body. Um, the hairy woodpecker has a larger beak. Now, if you were to look at it from a cross section, so here's the head and here's the beak. The beak with the hairy woodpecker uh, is pretty much the, the full length of the, of the head. The beak with the downy woodpecker is relatively small in comparison to the head. All right, so that's a good pointer. If you're walking in the woods, and you see a hairy or a downy woodpecker, now you can figure out which one it is. Oh, what do we have here? It's a red-bellied woodpecker. Now, check this out. It's not a red-headed woodpecker. Uh, we may see that one next. Uh, it's a red-bellied woodpecker. All right, so it has red on the top of the head here. So the male has red from the nose all the way to the back of the head here, right? Um, the female only has red from about between the eyes back to here. So she has a kind of a grayish front of the face. And it gets its name because actually, it has a pinkish red patch on its belly, but it's very hard to see. It's right about there, of course you can't see it in this picture. Sometimes people get pictures with the, the pinkish tinge to the belly, and that's where this woodpecker gets its name. And so, um, you know, many think that it might look very similar to uh, another woodpecker that we have in Pennsylvania, a rarer variety rarer species, the red-headed woodpecker. Um, but really, uh, it only looks superficially similar. Because if you look at the red-headed woodpecker, the head is totally red all the way on the back and all the way on the front, all the way around. And look at the striking pattern on the wings. Uh, and it has, has right the dark shoulder patch and the very bold white, uh, white patch on the wings too. Very white breast. Okay, so one more time, let's, let's compare that uh, with the red, see, look at the red belly, kind of has that black and white, white ladder back pattern on the back. And again, here's the red headed, very different actually, right? Okay, so let's keep walking through the woods here. And, oh, check that one out. That is the northern yellow shafted flicker. Now out west, in the western United States, they have one called, it's the same species, but it's the red shafted flicker. Now it's, this one's called the yellow shafted northern flicker, because check this out, the shafts of the feathers uh, on the wings and on the tail are yellow. 
right? And so that's where it gets its name. Uh, this is the northern flicker of the east, uh, which is called, of course, the yellow shafted flicker. All right. Um, and uh, and this, this woodpecker is one, now you can find it in a tree, but also you can find it on the ground. Uh, they really like to eat ants. So if they find a good ant hill, the ants coming out and go back in all day, they'll be hanging out there a lot. That's like a buffet for them. All right, so that's that's a that's a really neat woodpecker to see. And uh, when you hear them, they, they sound like ka, 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 There's one that sounds similar to that, but it's a lot bigger. And uh, what I'm talking about is the pileated woodpecker. Check that one out. Look at that. That this woodpecker is about the size of a crow. Really big as far as as far as woodpeckers go. All right, and uh, in this species, the male has a red mustache right there, and the female has a black mustache right there, okay? And uh, now remember I said the northern flicker sounds like and the pileated sounds more like You get that? So that's that's kind of, that's. it's always nice to see a pileated woodpecker flying through the woods or overhead. And uh, I'd also like to show you uh, another Pennsylvania species woodpecker. There he is, the yellow-bellied sapsucker. And this one, uh, they actually do drink sap from a tree. A lot of times you'll see trees with a full rows of um, holes, not very deep, relatively shallow holes, just enough to, to get through the bark into the inner, inner juices of the tree uh, where the sap flows out. And so it'll tap the holes, and then once it taps a row, it'll go back to the beginning of the row, drink the sap out of that one, drink the sap out of the next one, and so on and so forth, right? Uh, and uh, in the springtime, when, when these ones come back, they're migratory, right? They'll fly south in the winter and they come back north uh, to breed. And springtime, uh, you hear their uh, arrhythmic tapping. Now the tapping of most woodpeckers is like this. The tapping of the yellow-bellied sapsucker is more like this. It's not very rhythmic. Um, it's arrhythmic, right? Kind of out of rhythm. Um, and uh, so uh, when somebody's heart is arrhythmic, that's a bad thing. But when you hear the tapping of a woodpecker that is arrhythmic, you know it's a sapsucker. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this uh, overview, brief overview of uh, the woodpeckers of Pennsylvania. And I will see you next time.